Regarding last December's gun discharge involving a Hobart Lawrence police officer, but body camera footage from the incident shows. And the Scandinavia Planning Commission still fighting a proposed sand mine. What the commission voted to recommend recently. From WBAY TV, your first alert station. Action 2 News at 10 starts now. Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. New video footage is released from a shooting incident last December. That's when the gun of Hobart Lawrence police officer Samuel Schrader discharged. It hit Officer Schrader in the leg. This all unfolding when several officers responded to a welfare check on Highway 29 in Brown County. Derek Rose from our Milwaukee affiliate WISN looks into whether what happened to Officer Schrader is connected to other recent incidents involving officers' guns discharging. It's December 7th, Highway 29 in Brown County. Hobart Lawrence Police Officer Sam Schrader is on a chase. The driver, the subject of a welfare check for erratic behavior. Squad car video shows police box the driver in. Officer Schrader to his left tries to get the driver to pull over. Stop! Stop! Eventually the driver does, but the focus then shifts to Officer Schrader and one sound. The sound of a gunshot. Listen again. Schrader's body camera captures it clearly. After the shot, he falls to the ground. Yeah. No. At first, fellow officers are unsure where the shot came from. It was me. I need a tourniquet. It was me, Schrader yells with a gunshot wound to his leg from a bullet fired from his own gun. Up high, Gil. Up high. I got you. I got you. That gun, a six-hour P320. The same type of gun dozens of police officers nationwide are suing the gunmaker for, claiming the guns fire without the trigger being pulled. That scenario suspected three times for Milwaukee police. Take this Milwaukee case from 2021. An officer stepping out of a car has his hands full when the gun fires. Again, his hands nowhere near the weapon. But when we slow down the Hobart Lawrence video, you can see one of Officer Schrader's fingers inside the trigger guard just after the shot is heard. In an email, the police chief told me Schrader could not explain why one of his fingers was inside the trigger guard at that moment and denied doing anything outside his training and experience. The chief points out the video does not show Schrader's hand or the gun when the shot is fired. But the chief concedes he is considering the possibility this case is a result of Schrader's handling of the weapon. Now, the chief says he cannot rule out operator error in this investigation. The, uh, the officer Schrader is back to work on light duty now. The chief says an inspection of the gun could, fi could not find anything internally wrong with the weapon. Despite what has been found out about the case, the department is no longer using that P320. The chief confirming to our affiliate WISN News that before the end of 2022 and not so long after the shooting, the town boards approved letting Hobart Lawrence police switch to a new service weapon. The chief says right now all officers and supervisor have new guns.